that. Let's see. Okay, if it doesn't advance it, I'll just have to go. Okay, so what can fancy for work? <laughs> after after further ado. Um, so I'm doing a, a PhD for UNESCO City of Finn, which is Bradford. Um, and they're running a film literacy scheme and I thought I'd quickly introduce you to all the hats I'm wearing and organisations I belong to. So I'm doing it at Bradford University, but I'm also connected to the University of Leeds because Bradford doesn't have an education department. So I've got a second supervisor over at Leeds and I go over to Leeds. Uh, I don't know whether you know Becky Perry and she's my second supervisor. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'm also working for Bradford College because we're just opening a new film school at Bradford College and we're going to work together with Whistling Woods in India. Maybe you can see something like that. Um, okay, I'm just going to... I don't trust the Mac, so I'm sorry to say. <laughs> um, um, I thought I'd start with this to illustrate what times we live in and I'm sure you all know. So this is an actual quote published in that documentation of that day. Um, my, uh, the literacy scheme that I'm observing is all about trying to increase students' ability to write and increasing their enthusiasm to write. Um, uh, but of course it's also about increasing stats results. I'm, I'm researching primary schools. Um, however, we are currently living in this culture where you have to improve, improve, improve all the time. But if you actually look at the search results or at the, at the level four and level five English results um, in year six, you can actually see that they are getting better year on year. I mean, they've, they've fallen a little bit um, the last year, um, but generally it is going up. So there's no desperate need to improve, 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 but that's kind of how it's seen. So my thesis is all about how film can foster emotion and as such motivation for writing. So students might see a film and then they might feel emotionally involved and as a result they are motivated to write about their emotional experience. Um, so I just really like this quote, uh, painting photographs and music alone can undoubtedly evoke strong emotion in us, but the combination of watching a film with the soundtrack, good musical dialogue has the capability of moving us profoundly. So my thesis is really about how film can inspire students to Right, uh, and emotionally inspire them as well. Um, I was quickly going to talk about uh, kind of what I'm currently researching, um, which is film as a teaching tool, which is also what I wrote my master's on. My master's is about how film motivates students in the classroom in general, how it can infuse them. Um, you know, we all know media and reputation is an ethical subject, and actually, uh, because of the EBAC, there's now even less film and media interest in the country. Uh, let's do GCSEs, but on the other hand, we've got 70% of the children who are able to turn on the TV by themselves when they're two, um, which, you know, these two really don't really go together. Um, there is a big discussion about film as literature versus film for film's sake. Should we just teach film because it's an important medium, or should we teach film as, as books, uh, which a lot of the resources downstairs, I think about that as well, uh, but or should we teach through film as a tool? Um, these discussions are also connected to now the new trend to multimodality and visual literacy, um, which is all in primary schools. More and more teachers are introducing children to this concept of that you don't just need to learn to read and to write, but to read different media and to work with different media. My research kind of at the moment is taking me a lot through the combination, the connection of film and emotion. This emotion research really only started in the 1980s because until then emotion was a very subjective and fluffy term. It's only very recently that people have actually started to look at it uh, from a psychological point of view and also from a philosophical point of view. So I'm taking this definition, the, uh, definition that emotion is a temporary change of the mental state because of an external reason um, and also displayed in a physical way. So you might uh, be happy because of, you might watch Les Mis and your mental state might change, you might get sad, and as a result, you cry. Um, but uh, there's a lot of research to say that positive emotion really enhances learning. Um, and uh, I quite like this, emotions on the right, our experience of most films, especially popular ones. So most people go to the cinema to feel something. They want, either want to feel sad or, or happy or, you know, thrilled or scared. Um, now, this uh, media literacy scheme I'm observing uh, was initiated by Marguerite from the BFI and uh, from the City of Film, 
but it's not the first project of that kind. I'll explain what it is in a minute, but there are a couple of other actually BFI initiated projects or kind of the BFI has kind of like claimed them under their umbrella and theirs. Uh, some of them are BFI, some of them are not. Uh, there's two examples, one based in Manchester and one um, based in Kipworth and Leicester. Um, and <coughs> they are all about fostering either reading and writing or loads and loads of other skills. So this is about cultural understanding, working with Arabic language and culture films. And the second one um, is really about uh, kind of infusing kids with regards to education as a whole, uh, making them want to go to school. Um, and this is kind of the, so Bradford City of Film started with this literacy <coughs> project where primary school teachers were trained, 15 of them were trained to use films in lessons in any way they wanted. The BFI was suggesting things, our consultants were suggesting things, but the teachers used them in lots of different ways. Um, in their primary schools to engage kids in learning, because we've got a very diverse population in Bradford, we've got a very big Asian population, um, and um, under this UNESCO City of Film umbrella, there was kind of, uh, there was the need or there was a suggestion that a literacy project might benefit the whole city and the new young generation. Um, at the time, uh, there were loads of benefits recorded. I mean, at the end of the year, we had interviews with teachers. This was before I started the PhD. So um, teachers were just talking about how amazing the scheme was, how much they'd learned from the scheme, how enthusiastic the students were, but nobody really did any research on whether the levels had actually increased um, and how the writing was <coughs> changed. And um, there, they, you know, I've got some quotes like enthusiasm towards writing greatly improved for the majority of the class. This is what one of the teachers said. Um, now we're planning the schemes for the next years, and I'm just in the first year of my PhD, so I'm reading up on all these things, and then hopefully next year I'm actually going to help to set up the film literacy scheme, and then I'm going to research it as a real life. And as a good PhD student, I've got my sources there. <laughs> and uh, if anybody wants to have a look on, on the website, I set, set up a blog and a website for the, for the whole project, so you can, you can have a look at it and email. 